Hello everyone, welcome back to another Spurs in the Saddle, this time around reviewing our 2-1 victory over Southampton. I did a decent summary, I think, at the end of my vlog yesterday, but um, just to cap it up, obviously the first half was the entertaining one, the second half thank thankfully was less dramatic. Um, we started alright actually, we created some chances, they had a couple shots on target, um, but they were comfortably saved, and then a lovely goal from Tangi and Dombele uh, took we made sure that we were in the lead. I think it was around the 20th minute, 25th, something around that. Um, it was a lovely, well-taken goal. It was just what we needed because um, the game was going a little bit flat and we needed to capitalise on it because we really needed to keep the crowd, obviously. I think the crowd was really good. Yesterday we stayed with the team uh, very well. And, uh, and obviously they shot a lot of fight as well. So it was a two-way thing. But... Um, Aurea made very, two very silly tackles, both of them unnecessary. Um, the first one he didn't need to go for because the guy was going nowhere, so that was unnecessary. And given the fact that he already had a yellow card, he really shouldn't have went for the second one. Um, he had like it made the ref, the ref have to make a decision, and um, and unfortunately sent him off around the half hour mark. So it made our job even more difficult. And then they equalised, and it seemed like all the momentum was with them barring an excellent count and that was like at 38 minutes so it's quite close to half time as well so I was quite concerned but then a gorgeous counter attack led by the tree of front trio which is Ericsson, Son and Kane and Kane finished it beautifully made it 2-1 before the break and which meant that we were the ones going into the break with momentum and it meant that we had a lead we could just hold on to and thankfully this time we did so I don't know if it's a combination of learning from our mistakes or things working out but Southampton weren't that good either. Um, like, if it was been against a City or a Liverpool, we'd be a lot more concerned. But thankfully, it wasn't. And um, we managed to keep them uh, from scoring another goal. Obviously, that goal we conceded was just ridiculous. And that meant that Hugo just um, pulled himself together at half time, uh, the professional he is. And he made two excellent saves in the second half. So um, he definitely made up for it. And, you know, in the end of the day, we'll remember this for three points. And, uh, and that's all we needed. So. Um, Harry Kane was my man of the match, hands down. Um, he just ran himself to the ground. He was everywhere from the halfway line, dropping deep to obviously leading attacks and passing and crossing. And he was doing everything. So for me, he was man of the match or Winksy, our other Harry. Um, he also showed so much fight and spirit. I think both of them really led by example yesterday. So um, very proud of both of them. Oh, leaves, branches, oh, autumn. Look how pretty it is though. Like. I don't know what I showed you, um, but it's really nice. Anyway, I think that's it for my little roundup, little real review. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know who your man and match was in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Share this video if you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you in the future. Come on, you Spurs.